What is happening guys? Rob Shoecraft here with Three Storm Fitness. And I'm very excited about something. So excited that I've decided to break several long months of YouTube silence <laughs> for a very obscure, uh, a very obscure trick that I would have loved to have had when I was a personal trainer. Um, uh, I hope you welcome me back, by the way. I hope you'll, I hope you'll, you'll accept me. I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry for taking so long to make a video. Um, but I'll just get right to it. A hip hinge, right? The basis of of a de of a deadlift, of a kettlebell swing, a clean um, <clears throat> RDL is just picking crap off the ground. For me, is one of the hardest things to teach somebody, especially somebody uh, who is you know spent maybe 60 years of their life picking stuff up like this, kind of rounding the back, you know, you know, people with back pain all the time, often cause from just poor movement patterns. Anyways, it's important to teach a proper hip hinge, and I've had a heck of a time with it because, uh, you know, you have, some people pick it up right away, some people have always done it right, others you have them like standing near a wall and pushing back, there's all sorts of, all sorts of different tricks, and, so, and they work pretty well. The best one I ever heard, and I wish I could give somebody credit, but the best one was put a, literally put a drawer behind somebody and have them close it with their butt. Because it's basically impossible to close it without properly loading up the hamstrings and the glutes, and you get this gradual pattern. Two problems with that though. Uh, one is that there are very few gyms that have like big, you know, <laughs> furniture in the corner you could just scoot out to next to the power rack. Uh, chest of drawers and whatnot. The other reason is that it doesn't come back, right? It's not spring loaded, so you can't just repeat reps like that. So I took I took these bands. I got, I started uh, training people just a little bit, kind of mixing jujitsu and fitness. Um, and I got these bands, and I've been using this to train folks with uh, for RDLs and deadlifts and kettlebell swings, and it's it's beautiful. It works perfectly every time and I'm thrilled about it. So hopefully this helps you out. Or maybe you just don't know like, you don't know if you're, maybe you think you started a deadlift or something, you just wanna make sure you're doing it right. This is a good, good training tool for that. So first of all, I'm using these bands. I made a video a long time ago about, I, I just bought these moving bands, right? Uh, it's like they work out to be about two bucks a piece. They're the best, I'll make another ser series of videos, but these are the best buys probably I've ever made like for just as far as like cheap gym equipment. They're wonderful, they're absolutely fantastic. Anyways, I've strung this up to my power rack here just using band pegs. You could use J-cups, you could use all sorts of stuff to rig it through. I just got a couple bands set about hip height. And what I'm gonna do is kind of tuck this thing by my butt. I'm gonna stand right here, plant my feet, get good posture right, set up, set up the shoulders properly. And I'm just gonna push back. It's very simple, it's nothing crazy. But I'm going to push back, and it's impossible for me to push these bands back without properly hip hinging. I can't push them back if I'm bending over like this. They won't go anywhere. So you instruct your client or yourself or whoever, you know, to put the sucker under their butt. You can put a towel on or something, give some more surface area. But just push it back, plant the feet, keep the chest high, bring it back in. Pick up a, uh, a kettlebell or something. Have them start doing it with load. That kind of goes underneath them, just let it float. Right, you know, sky's the limit from there. So, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I really wanted to make a video, and I wanted to test out some uh, new uh, camera crap microphone I got. Um, I'll make some more. I know I've said that a million times. I pretty much, pretty much will. I, 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 um, I miss this, I uh, appreciate you guys, and uh, please subscribe. And have a great day. Take care.